Good morning, Lewis Cast families, and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how to access Google Meet. And so what is Google Meet? Google Meet is the program that we use for teachers and students to be able to communicate and learn lessons through the live. So teachers will be uh, talking to students in the live through Google Meet. And today we're going to show you how to access those programs. So the first step I need you to do is go ahead and log on to your Lewis Cass Kings district webpage. And again, we're gonna go to the student dropdown and the Red Student app. Once you get there, you're going to notice again that there is a Canvas app for iPads and a Canvas app for Chromebooks and PCs. So if your child has an iPad, you're going to want to go ahead and log on through the iPad Canvas app. If your child is someone who has a Chromebook or PC, you're going to want to go ahead and log on through the Canvas app. So for today's purposes, I'm going to log on through the Canvas app for PCs. You're going to click on that and use the Google authentication that you would use for your child. And you should show up looking, and I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Okay, let me get you there. You're going to show up to a page that looks something like this. So depending on your child's teacher, you're going to go to that class. So if your child is in kindergarten through fifth grade, you're going to want to use the homeroom teachers web page, Canvas page rather. And you're also going to want to go ahead if you're in high school and go to whatever class period you're in at that time. So once you're there, your teacher could post the link for the Google Meet in a couple different places. They may post it on the home page, which if they post it on the home page, it would show up somewhere in here saying something along the lines of Google Meet at 10 a.m. or Google Meet for period three. They may also post in the announcements page, which you'll notice that's where I posted it. This is something that teachers are going to share with students within the first week of school. It's a procedure that they will set and the students will know where to go. In case you can't find it, I would check both. You may also want to look in the assignments page. That probably won't be where it's at, but it could be. So just these are the three main places where teachers are going to post that announcement. So once you're there, you see that we have a Google Meet, and you'll notice that mine has been posted in announcements, and I'm just going to click on this link here. There may be a point where teachers leave directions. It may say something along the lines of, please log on at 12 p.m. or 12.05 with, and, and they may ask you to bring something or a project that's completed that's on your computer, be prepared for whatever. So you would then click on the link. We're gonna do that now. Once you've clicked, you'll notice that this comes up. What you'll see is that there is a microphone here where you can turn it off and a camera. So it could be that your child doesn't want their face shown. You would simply click it off, and that shows us that the camera is disabled. Same with the microphone. Your, your child's teacher may ask that everyone enter Google Meet on mute. That might be a procedure, so you would go ahead and click that. At certain times, the um, prompt up here may say something that says, allow camera, allow microphone. You're going to want to allow that. And that usually happens when you've never been on Google Meet or um, for whatever reason, the camera and microphone have been disabled. So you may see a prompt up here in the corner that again asks you to allow. You're going to want to allow. So you're ready to log on. All you need to do is click this Join Now button. That's it. So you've clicked. What's going to happen now is, and I'm just going to move my Move my face over here for a second. There are a couple different things I want to bring to your attention. So the first thing is, again, here's that microphone button. And that's for you to turn off and on. 
and you see how it looks, it appears red, it has a slash that says you're on mute. This red hang up button means that you have hung up and you either need to get back on or it's over. We also have the camera button. You uh, may need to turn it off. So if you do, usually if there's a Google picture attached to your account, it'll show up. And you can still be a participant, but they cannot see you. Let's say that your child is struggling with hearing what's going on. They can easily use this turn on captions, and I'm going to click that for you. And what you'll notice is whatever the person speaking is saying is appearing here, and they can read it. And that's just something that uh, students may want to try. You can click it off by simply clicking it. I'm going to skip this for a moment and take you over to these three little dots. These three little dots are really great and I want to draw your attention to this. So we're going to click those. You'll notice that there's a record meeting button. Your teacher is already recording the lesson. So they will be the ones doing that. There's also a change layout and this is for each child to choose how they want to see the lesson. So they would click change layout. And you'll notice that automatically what appears is one person talking. But you could choose a sidebar where the person speaking is here and students show up here. The spotlight is whoever's talking is full screen. And then we have what we call tile. So if your student or child, excuse me, is in a classroom of 26 kids and they want to see their friends, this is probably the best option because it's going to show everyone. And it looks um, a lot like the Brady Bunch. So these are options for you to play with and your child can decide how they want to see their classmates. So you'll also see up here that we have a time and we have this little bubble. This is called the chat button and we're going to click that. And your child's teacher may set some procedures for the chat. They may say that Students can type in questions or if they want to say hi, whatever. What they do, it's pretty simple. You click that chat button and you'll see down here at the bottom right, it says send message to everyone. Everyone is going to see this and the teacher will have access to these chats at the end. So they can type in anything they want and hit enter. And it shows up here. So if there's a question, the teacher may respond or a student. You can also see this button here, who's on the Google Meet. Now, if I'm a teacher and I have my class on, you're going to see all the different kids that are already on here. So for training purposes, you only see me. If you want to get out of this section or you find that you don't need the chat anymore, you simply hit that X button and it takes you back. Another spot here, this is where it shows everyone. So if you click on that button, takes you to the chat button. So there's two different ways to do that. Again, you hit the X to take you back. The last part I want to talk to you about is the present section. And this is where the teacher may ask students to present different projects or assignments. And they're going to be able to show everyone in class what they've been working on. So this is a really cool feature. For students, you're going to want them to click this present now button. And you'll see here it says your entire screen. This is telling you that whatever's on your computer screen, everyone else can see. So just be aware of that. And you're going to want to choose the entire your entire screen. So click that. This will pop up here where it says share your screen. This is just reminding you that you're about to share what's on your computer to everyone. So you would click on the screen here, and you'll notice the blue highlight, and then you'll click the share button. Once you do, you'll see that it's processing. It shows this down here, this little meetgoogle.com is sharing your screen, and that's just saying to you, hey, everyone's seeing what you're doing. So it says here, you are presenting. Currently, everyone on Google Meet is seeing this. So maybe I want to take them to this website and show them something. Or I want to click on an assignment page 
And I've clicked on that assignment page and I'm showing what it is that the student is working on. So this is where they could easily go in and write. And you'll see that oh, you can write on here. So I'm going to go back to the Google Meets. And maybe I'm done presenting. I have shown my, my teacher that I've done the assignment, I understand, and I'm done. If you want to stop presenting, you would simply hit stop presenting. And it's going to take you back to the original page. So now I'm done. What do I do? Your teacher has said to you, class is over, let's log off. All you would do is click this leave call. And it's going to take you to this page here that that prompts you and says, you've left the meeting. You can rate it. Um, maybe you logged off on accident. If you logged off on accident, you would simply hit the rejoin button. And it's going to prompt you to go back and join now. Remember, we're only hitting that join now button. And you're back on. So it's OK if you've accidentally hung, hung up. It's pretty easy to get back on. So we're done with that. We're going to go ahead and hit leave. And then we know that we really, truly are finished. So we're just going to go to that return home screen. It takes you here and you can log off from here. And that just shows that you have finished. So that is how we access Google Meet. And parents, it is. It is a great resource. It's going to be awesome. And we are so excited to be able to try this program with students. Thank you. And if you have any questions, please contact your child's teacher. Have a great day.